Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared to here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Oshkosh Multi-Mission Recovery System, or known as the MMRS. The MMRS was developed as a private venture. The machine has exceptional capabilities. It seems that of 2014 only a demonstrator exists. There were no production models ordered on this vehicle. This heavy recovery vehicle is based on the Oshkosh LVSR 10x10 heavy high mobility truck. These truck are in service with the U.S. Marine Corps. The U.S. Marines operate the MKR-15 Wrecker. This is also based off the 10x10 LVSR, but has some less capable material handling crane and some other differences. The main role of this machine is recovery of damaged, immobilized, swamped, stuck, or overtorn vehicles. The MMRS can recover mine-resistant, ambush-protected vehicles, largest tactical wheeled vehicles and tracked combat vehicles with a maximum weight of about 4,500 kilograms. The MMRS can also provide maintenance service and tow them to assembly points or maintenance units. So yeah, the uh, vehicle here is very interesting. Um, it's one of those vehicles that was just kind of made up or designed by uh, Oshkosh themselves in hope of probably reaching an export market or uh, someone to the United States military. However, the uh, vehicle seems to have basically not really gone anywhere besides just being that a um, you know privatized uh, you know concept design I guess uh, but it's still an interesting vehicle and does have a really cool look to it and kind of goes along with our line of heavy Oshkosh trucks that we've been doing tutorials on for quite some time so it's a pretty cool video uh, vehicle and kind of a one that really does look like it could be used in a modern day conflict and battlefield so it, it definitely has that role to it and isn't anything super outlandish or anything like that um, before we go and jump in and take a look at the vehicle, I do want to go ahead and give special links to Patreon support Derek Frost Blushbook for making this tutorial possible. As always, if you uh, are interested in supporting the channel more you already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description to where you can go and play the small amount to the channel every month and in doing so, earn a vehicle request you're choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel. It's really greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to check that out. Again, links always in my video descriptions. So with that, um, we can go ahead and kind of dive in here to take a look at the um, vehicle. So this vehicle here um, was a little bit of a challenge to build just due to the fact that there's only one uh, demonstration model that was ever built. So trying to find reference pictures and stuff like that on this vehicle at times was a little bit difficult and, um, you know, just yeah, was, was basically difficult. Um, so I kind of went ahead and basically did the best I could. I think I got pretty much most of the details and I uh, got most of the stuff right that was um, that is present on the vehicle. Um, first things first though, we have the front uh, cap up here, so very similar to basically the other Oshkosh trucks I have, not really many differences. We then have the front hazard lights, the side mirrors, as well as uh, this version here is fitted with a turret on top here, so for extra protection, this could be fitted with a 50 caliber machine gun, a 7.62mm or um, a grenade launcher, 40mm grenade launcher, so very typical uh, loadout and kind of turrets that's on much of the MRAPs used by the United States military today. Uh, we then have, just have some of the detail here behind the, the cab, mostly where the engines can be located and all that stuff. We then get into the midsection here, which does house the um, support legs and stuff like that. And there is going to be a version that is a deployed version. So it does have the crane extended out and toward the back. And you can have it kind of in a recovery scene or something like that, picking up vehicles or something. Um, but yeah, that is going to be coming as a modification tutorial later on. This tutorial will not include that version. But yeah, there will be cranes that can pop out to the, or support legs. We then have the crane arm itself. <clears throat> so uh, pretty nice design here. We got the hazard lights. This would be able to spin 360 degrees. And we have the rear wheels um, on the back here. Just some more equipment and stuff like that on the back of the vehicle. Nothing too fancy. And um, yeah, again, just more of the designs on the side here and mechanisms and power units and stuff like that hydraulics for uh, the crane itself but that right there is pretty much it for the overview of this vehicle it's a pretty awesome one and again will make an awesome addition to any of your modern day battlefields with that though let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning for our first layer all right guys so going ahead and moving into our first layer here and be going ahead and begin with layer one for layer one to go ahead and get started with you to place down two polished black stone stairs and these will be back to back like so we're gonna go ahead and skip a space and place down there two polished black stone stairs right behind that like that. We're going to go ahead and place down a birch wood trap door coming off this stair here facing toward the front. And then we're going to go ahead and go off of this stair here, place down a stone top slab, a iron trap door, and an iron stone top slab. Same thing will be done right here. 
uh, we'll place down a stone top slab, iron trap door, and a stone top slab. We're going to go then just place down a, another set of two of polished black stone stairs like that back to back. And same thing over here. Going back like that. That right there is going to do it for your front wheels. And also an air birchwood trap door on the right side there. Come off that wheel. So that will basically make your front axles. After that, we're going to go ahead and then count back from these stairs. One, two, three, four, five spaces back on our sixth block. We're going to place down eight. Their set of two polished black stone stairs back to back. So again, we have a space of five between this axle here and this back one. And then come off the stair going forward and place down two more birchwood trap doors. We're going to go and then go back with a birchwood, or my bad, it's actually going to be a skip in air space. We're going to place down there two polished black stone stairs, and then we're going to skip in air space, and then again two polished black stone upside down stairs like that for the wheels there. Now, once we have that done, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our stone top slabs. I'm going to place down a stone top slab here, iron trap door, stone top slab, and then another, polished, or another set of polished black stone stairs back to back, and two birchwood trap doors going forward. We're going to go and do the same thing here, stone top slab, iron trap door, stone top slab, and again our two polished black stone stairs. And then right here again, stone top slab, iron trap door, and stone top slab, and again two polished black stone stairs back to back like so. After we have that done, we're going to take our birchwood fence gates, we're going to place down one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that in between our axles. For the very back here, uh, we don't really have much to cover. That's just going to be a birchwood trap door there in the center. And we can also place down one and two birchwood trap doors down the center here and two right here as well. And with that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up everything we have there for this layer. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything and everything does appear to be covered. So taking a look at from up above here, this we should have for the basis of this layer with that all complete. And with that, we'll be going ahead and diving into our next layer, which will be layer number two. All right, guys, so moving into our next layer, we have layer two. Layer two is going to get a little complicated, as we do have a lot of stuff going on here in a lot more detail. Uh, but basically, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down two polished black stone stairs on back-to-back -back on top of each one of these wheels. So you should have a total of ten of these wheels complete uh, by the time we have all these stairs placed. So it's just going to be around like this for every wheel. So just like that. And once we reach this, reach this point here, we're going to go ahead and take anvils and place them down on these iron trap doors, going all the way back. Now for our front wheels here, uh, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves some uh, stone brick walls. And we're going to place down stone brick walls on the sides here of these anvils. Now after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood fence gate coming off these stone brick walls in between them. In the middle space there between those fence gates, uh, we do want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, nerd brick Actually, we'll just go ahead and use polished black stone instead. We're going to place down a polished black stone top slab there in the middle between those. After that's done, coming off the anvil going forward, uh, we want to go ahead and take our birchwood top slabs. We're going to place down one and two top slabs going forward. And we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood trap door coming off these two walls. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a birch two birchwood top slabs out to both sides, like so. And then we're going to place down one and two item frames, one and two. Now, in the item frames on the sides here, we're going to place down white beds, rotate on their sides like so, for headlights. And then the um, item frames that are going to be next to it, we're going to place down orange stained glass, or orange concrete blocks like that. Now, we can go and then place down a birchwood trap, or birchwood sign on the side of this slab. And if you're on Java, we can go ahead and do the extra added feature of placing down birchwood signs on the sides of these slabs as well with the item frames. If you're on a version other than uh, Java, you will not be able to place down item frames and signs in the same block space. If that's the case, just go ahead and place down the item frames and disregard the signs um, as uh, the item frames add a more detail to the front there. But you can place this one birchwood sign in the center. But again, Java, we can just go and do, do it exactly how we have here. After that, though, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue to work our way back. We want to go ahead and grab ourselves some smooth sandstone. We're going to place down one, two, and three smooth sandstone blocks across the space. We're going to go and then do a row of five across. Then at this point, we want to place down a birchwood up sound stair to both sides, and then another row of three of smooth sandstone across. We're going to go and then place down another row of five of smooth sandstone all the way across the space here. After that, we're going to place down two stripped birchwood blocks on top of those birchwood trap doors. Again, we can fill the space on the inside here with rows of three of smooth sandstone. Then grabbing birchwood uh, trap doors, we're just going to place them on the side here of these blocks. So just like this to both sides. For this uh, middle space in here, we're going to go and grab ourselves some sandstone walls. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, sandstone walls back. Or actually, my bad, it's only going to be seven sandstone walls back. And same thing here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven 
like that, and then a row of one, two, three, smooth sandstone across. And actually, the middle block is going to be a wall. So you have a smooth sandstone block on both sides and a wall there in the center. We can also place down a wall that will be here and here to kind of fill that space in and kind of create a little bit more of the chassis. Uh, come off these walls here, we're going to place down an uh, item frame. Like so, a smooth sandstone block in the item frames. And again, for us Java players, we'll go ahead and grab ourselves birchwood signs again. And we can do the same thing we did in the front there with birchwood signs on the side of those walls. So, just like that. Then, on the very back here, we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves some birchwood slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five across. We're going to place down an item frame on both ends. A smooth sandstone block in the item frame. Then a birchwood sign on the side of the slab again, if you're on Java. And then we're going to go and then take birchwood signs and run all the way along the side here of these birchwood slabs. Going all the way across, like so. And with that all done, uh, that right there is going to basically wrap up the main structure for this layer. Taking a look at it from above, this is what we should have for the top-down view. Uh, one thing also I want to mention is that we do also want to place down a birchwood sign on the side of this slab here in the front. So just go ahead and throw that addition on to the sides there like that. Um, after that's all complete there, um, basically what we have next to do is these banners. Now these banners here, I'm not going to go and go in super great detail about how to make them. Uh, basically all you're doing here is you're going to go ahead and use uh, a gray or a black banner. You're going to do a dark gray line on the left side vertically and then a dark gray line on the right side of those banners. Then you're just going to take your black die, do a line horizontally across the top, line horizontally across the bottom. And you're going to create these two banners that look like this. You'll place down these banners on the sides of these stairs with the gray facing toward each other. And this will be done here for each one of these wheels all the way along the side here. Now you can also, instead of using gray, you can use yellow as well for a more kind of um, tan color scheme. But this is based off the real life example, which uh, did have kind of more gray uh, rims compared to um, some of your vehicles. And some of the Oshkosh trucks do incorporate that as well. Uh, but anyways, there, that right there is going to conclude what we have there for uh, basically layer number two. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on up to our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer three. For layer three, we're going to start off by placing down a smooth sandstone block on top of these blocks here. And then we can just place down, or sorry, it's going to be a stripped birchwood block to both sides. And then a row three of smooth sandstone across that center there. We can then go ahead and grab ourselves some stairs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five upside down sandstone stairs and we're going to go ahead and then place down birchwood signs on the side of the strip birchwood log and the side here of these sandstone stairs. We also want to take birchwood trapdoors and just run a row of five across the front there and close them flat like so. After that we want to go ahead and then place down a sandstone upside down stair to both sides there. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three smooth sandstone blocks across. At this point here we're going to go ahead and then place down a smooth sandstone block in the center, stone brick wall to both sides, and then we'll take some polished blackstone top slabs and place them down on both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down another row of three of smooth sandstone across, then a polished blackstone top slab again to the sides, an air smooth sandstone block in the center, stone brick wall to both sides, and an air polished blackstone top slab. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a sandstone stair to both sides here, and a row of three of smooth sandstone across the space in between. We're going to place down another row of three of smooth sandstone across, and we're going to go ahead and place down a anvil to both sides like so. We then want to place down a strip birchwood block going up, Row three of smooth sandstone across, then a row of five of smooth sandstone. Um, at this point here, we're going to go then place down two strip birchwood blocks in the middle here, two smooth sandstone blocks in the middle to fill that space in, and then we're just going to place down two sandstone upside down stairs, like this, and same thing over here, like so. And then coming off those two stairs, we're going to place down two birchwood signs. So just like that. Then after we have that done, we're going to go and take our smooth sandstone and we're just going to place down one two three four five six seven and eight blocks back and we're going to do the same thing here one two three four five five six seven eight and we can just do the same thing here in the center as well filling that in with this row of eight now to the sides here we're going to go and take our polished blackstone we're going to place down one two three four five six seven uh polished blackstone top slabs and same thing over here one two three four five six seven after that, we're going to go then place down a birchwood upside down stair on both sides. Then a birchwood sign on the side of the stair, like so. We'll go ahead and then grab a item frame, place it on the back here of these stairs. Then a apple in the item frame, and we didn't want to go ahead and place down a birchwood slab like so. And then we're going to place down a top slab coming off that birchwood slab, like that, going back. 
And after we have that all done there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have here for this layer. Just trying to double check, make sure I'm not missing anything. And everything does appear to be good to go. So that right there is going to conclude layer number three. Taking a look at it above, this is what it should look like for the top down view. At this point in time, we're going to go ahead and move on to layer four. Layer four is where we start to get into some asymmetrical parts of the build. So just make sure that you are paying close attention for these next uh, layers as we do start to see a lot of asymmetry and it can be very easy to get thrown off by that. So just pay close attention, and with that, let's move on to layer number four. And moving on to our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a row of one and two of stripped birchwood logs like this to both sides. We then want to place down a trip bar hook coming off both sides here of this first block. And we're going to then place down a lever coming off both sides of the second block back like that. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some black concrete. We're going to place down one, two, three blocks across, and one, two, three across like that. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and take our sandstone walls and place down one, two, three, four, five sandstone walls across the front here. We'll also place down a birchwood trapdoor that will be coming off the sandstone wall like that to both sides. After that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and then continue to work our way back. We're going to take our smooth sandstone and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five across like so. At this point in time, we start to see our differences emerge. We're going to start off by going ahead and focusing on our, on our right side first. We're going to place down a strip birchwood uh, block like this by a fence gate and then we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block here in the center. We're going to go then place down going back from the fence gate one two and three birchwood strip birchwood blocks. We're going to place down a tripwire hook coming off the center block and a birchwood sign to both sides of the tripwire hook. After we have that all done we want to go then place down a smooth sandstone one two three this space here and one two and three like that going back. Once we have that done uh, for the left side here we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four. So we've seen stone across the space. We're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood fence gate that'll be located right here. And we're going to open that fence gate up toward the inside of the vehicle, like so. We're going to go then place down a smooth sandstone block. And then after that smooth sandstone block, we're also going to go and then place down two looms like that on the side there. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across the center. And then a sandstone wall on both sides on top of that anvil. We're going to go and then place down a stripped birchwood block on both sides, a row of three of smooth sandstone across, then another row of three of smooth sandstone across, followed by again a sandstone wall, a row of four of smooth sandstone, or sorry, row of five of smooth sandstone across, and then a second row after that, we're going to take our polished blackstone buttons and place down two buttons here on the sides of the vehicle. At this point, uh, we want to go and then grab a stripped birchwood log, and we're going to place it down on its side like so, and then a row of three of smooth sandstone across, filling that space in the middle. And on the ends here of this uh, log, we want to go and grab an item frame. We're going to place down an item frame and then a smooth sandstone block. Same thing over here, item frame and a smooth sandstone block. We then want to place down one, two, three, and one, two, three, smooth sandstone across. We're going to go and place down a birchwood upside down stair here on that second row, and then a birchwood top slab going forward from it. And we're going to place down birchwood signs on the sides there of those slabs and stairs. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down another row of three of smooth sandstone across this space here. Birchwood stair to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then place down a sandstone wall coming off these stairs like so. And then one, two, three smooth sandstone, or sorry, yeah, three smooth sandstone blocks across. We're going to place down another row of three of smooth sandstone, another uh, birchwood upside down stair to both sides. And then after that, we want to go ahead and then place down yet again another row of three of smooth sandstone across. This time, we're going to have an anvil on both ends and a birchwood sign on the side there of the anvil. We then want to take our sandstone slabs, we're going to place down one, two, and one, two, like that, going across the back there. And then lastly, we're going to place down a sandstone wall on top of this block here. Going off that sandstone wall, we're going to go and grab some end rods and some skeleton skulls. We're going to place down an end rod and a skeleton skull out to the side. Same thing over here, end rod and skeleton skull to the side there, like so, to go ahead and start forming up the uh, back here of the vehicle. And with that all done, uh, that right there is going to conclude what we have there for this layer. Um, and taking a look at it from above here, this is what you should have for the top-down view. So just pay close attention to that asymmetrical portion up there on the front of the vehicle. That's really going to be your main um, cause of concern there. But other than that, that's going to pretty much wrap up what we have here for uh, layer number four. And with that, let's move on to layer number five. And to move into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a birchwood fence post on top of this center uh, wall right here. And then we want to go and then go to the sides of it with one and two and one and two black stained glass panes. After we have uh, that all done there, we want to go ahead and then take our black stained glass blocks. And we're just going to place down one, two, three, four, and five 
black stained glass blocks across behind there. We're going to go ahead and place down an end rod coming off the side here of the black stained glass. And we want to go and then place down a um, sandstone wall to the side here as well. Coming off that sandstone wall, we're going to go and grab an item frame and a glass pane. We're going to place down an item frame and a glass pane here for the side mirrors. After that, we're going to go and then place down an end rod on top of this uh, lever here. And we want to go and then place down a sandstone stair like this to both sides. And again, we're going to take our black stained glass panes and do a row of four, or sorry, row three across the center there. After that, we're going to take our smooth sandstone, we're going to place down a narrow row of five, going all the way across there to finish the cab. Then, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone slab here in the center, and then a smooth sandstone block. We're going to go and now focus our, our attention to the sides. Our right side here, we're going to place down a sandstone stair like so, and we want to go and then grab another strip birchwood log, place it down on its side like so. Item frame, smooth sandstone block in the item frame, and then we want to place down a birchwood sign on the side of the, of the block. After that's all done, we're going to place down a near smooth sandstone block right here. On the left side over here, we're going to place down one and two more slabs over an item frame. In that item frame, we're going to place down a black concrete block. So like so. And then a birchwood sign on the side there of that block if available. And we want to go then place down a near smooth sandstone block here. And then a sandstone stair followed by a birchwood sign on the side of that stair. Now once we get to this point, we're going to take our strip birchwood, we're going to place down one, two, three, and one, two, three, so two rows of three of the strip birchwood. On the right side here, we're going to go ahead and take our polished blackstone slabs, we're going to place down one and two slabs going back. And then after those slabs, we're going to go ahead and take a wither skeleton skull, place down a wither skeleton skull, and then also we'll need some dark oak wood signs, and we're going to place down two dark oak wood signs on the side here of the slabs. Just like that. After that, we're going to take our smooth sandstone, we're going to place down a narrow row of three, a smooth sandstone across. And this is going to be a birchwood slab, which will be present on both sides. In addition, on the left side here in this section, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some sandstone walls. We're going to place down two sandstone walls, an item frame on this wall, a black concrete block in the item frame, and also a birchwood sign on the side there of the wall if available. At this point here, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across the center, a strip birchwood block to both sides like so. We're going to go ahead and then place down a sandstone wall on both sides, and again, a row of three of smooth sandstone across the center. After that, uh, we're going to go and take our black concrete. We want to go and place down uh, two rows of three. So one, two, three, then one, two, three, like that, going across. After we have that done, we're going to go and then take our sandstone stairs and we're going to place down one and two upside down sandstone stairs. And same thing over here, one and two upside down stairs. We then want to place down a uh, spoof sandstone block. Or, yeah, we're going to place down one and two like this. And then on the right side here, we're actually going to have an anvil. So. We're going to have an anvil right here to the right side. And then after that, we want to go and then place down a wither skeleton skull on both sides like so. Our next row here is going to be two rows of three of smooth sandstone going across. And then we want to go and then place down uh, one and two looms and one and two looms like that on the side here. And make sure you place them so that you have this kind of grill uh, looking design facing out to the side there. And then on the side of the looms also, we're going to go and grab birchwood trap doors and we're going to place them down here on top of the stair and close them so they lay flat against the side of the looms. Then taking our smooth sandstone, we're going to place down one, two, three across, then one, two, three. And then after we have that done on both ends of this row of three here, we're going to place down a birchwood stair to the sides here. We're going to go ahead and go back from the stair with a sandstone wall. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood fence gate to both sides and then an anvil there in the center. We then want to place down an anvil on top of these. And then we want to go and then place down one, two, three. Smooth sandstone blocks across between those anvils. We then want to take our birchwood signs and we're going to wrap signs around the side of the wall and the side of these anvils. That's just going to go all the way around the vehicle like so. And then after that, uh, we want to go and place down a grindstone on these two blocks. We're going to go and then grab ourselves an item frame. Place it down on the side here of these grindstones. So just like this, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood top slab, and we're going to drop this down to a half slab. So it's going to kind of go down like so. And after that is all done, there, uh, that right there is going to basically finish off what we have here for this layer, layer number uh, five, and take a look at it from above here. This is what we should have for the top-down view. With that though, that's going to conclude layer five, and let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number six. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we're we'll moving into layer number 6. For layer 6 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to take our sh uh, strip birch wood. We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3 blocks, and then we're going to place down a bir strip birch wood trapdoor here and close it like so. 
After that, uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a daylight center to both sides. And we're going to go then place down item frames on these blocks like this going across. Orange concrete in those item frames. And then we're going to take our birch with signs. And again, if applicable, we'll place our birch with signs on the side here of those blocks like that going across. After that's all done, we want to go then place down a birch wood trap door on top of the sand rod. Same thing over here. Then after we have that done, we're going to place down a smoker to both sides like so. With that little viewport or like that little uh, black slit there facing out toward the sides. And in the center here, we're going to go and place down a stripped birch wood log like so. Then we want to take our uh, stripped birch wood and place down a row of three across the back here like so. To the sides, we're going to place down a narrow daylight detector like so. And then we're going to go and then place down a sandstone wall to both sides of this, these birch wood blocks. And then uh, we want to go and then place down a skeleton skull on top of this stair here like so and then we're going to place down two birchwood trap doors come off these two blocks like that at this point in time we have another little detail bit right here which uh is going to kind of depend on what version you're on if you're on a version other than java edition we're going to place down a skeleton skull there to the sides if you are on java edition we can go ahead and use a cool technique here using the debug stick by typing in the command slash give space at p minecraft underscore debug and or uh colon and then debug underscore stick you get this command right here by pressing enter you'll get this glowing stick now what we're going to do is we're going to build a block of space or two blocks out to the side there from this daylight detector we're going to delete that first block we're going to place down a lever on the side of this block and then using our debug stick we're going to left click the lever until we get selected face and it should say wall we're going to go ahead and sh uh, shift or crouch and then right click and then we are going to set this to face to floor then by going ahead and left clicking again we'll get to selected facing west and we're going to go ahead and then right click and it should rotate this and you may need to rotate a few times but you want to basically face in the direction there of that piston really nice technique to kind of uh, or daylight detector i should say a uh, really nice technique there just to kind of uh you know really make that connection there it looks a little bit better than the skeleton skull but again both options will work for you um, so again java edition you can do both of these if you're on a version other than java edition skeleton skull is the only one that's going to work for you Anyways, though, let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, after that, we're going to go ahead and continue on by placing down a stone brick stair here in the center. After that, we want to go ahead and then take our rails, and we're going to place down our rail here to both sides of that stair. Then, grabbing polished blackstone, we're going to place down one, two, three, and one, two, three polished blackstone slabs across. We're going to go ahead and then take our birchwood buttons and place down a row of three of birchwood buttons across. Then, taking sandstone walls, we're going to place down a row of five. On the sides of these sandstone walls, we're going to place down item frames with smooth sandstone blocks in the under frames and then we're going to place down birchwood signs again over them if you are on java and we'll do the same thing here for this side or actually we can't because of that um, block there so we'll just go and leave this side alone we're going to go, then take, go ahead and then take our sandstone slabs we're going to place down a row of three across this space here and then after that we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of five of smooth sandstone blocks across this point right here um, is going to be a little uh, kind of dependent on uh, basically what side you're on so on the right side here of the vehicle, we're going to place down a polished blackstone wall, a block of coal, and then a narrow polished blackstone wall. We're going to go back with a block of coal to both sides. In the center here, we're probably going to place down a uh, gray concrete block. So just like this in the center here. And then another block of coal and another polished uh, blackstone wall to both sides like that. And right there's just supposed to represent a spare tire on the top here. Obviously, it's not 100% to the size with these tires just to the fact that we can't put sideways stairs and just doing like a full block just doesn't look right i think so it's the next best thing i think it looks pretty good and fits with the building really doesn't um look too out of place um anyways though after that though we want to go and then place down a smooth sandstone block here on the left side and then a sandstone stair and then after that a daylight detector right here and then we're just going to go and take our birchwood trap doors and just place down three along the side there after that's all done we want to go and then place down a sandstone uh, full block in the center here and we're going to go then place down a birch wood stair like this to both sides going from that we're going to go and place down a row three of smooth sandstone across smooth sandstone block in the center sandstone wall to both sides and then we also want to go and grab a uh, birch wood trap door and place it come, on, come off the side here of that block like that then at the very back here we're just going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across and then we're going to place down item frames a row of five all the way across these slabs we're going to go and grab ourselves some white beds and also some um, orange concrete. We're going to place down um, white beds in the side item frames. 
rotate them like that and then we're gonna go ahead and place down orange concrete in the middle ones and then again java players will place down our birchwood signs that go across like so and try not to rotate your beds or concrete at all so it'll go across just like that and then after we have uh that all done right there that's going to pretty much wrap up this layer here just trying to make sure i'm not missing anything and everything does appear to be good to go actually one thing also is we do want to place down a birchwood trapdoor on top of uh, this loom here and also on the right side here on top of that loom so just make sure that gets uh, done on both sides anyways though that right there is going to conclude what we have there for layer number six and with that let's move on to layer number seven all right guys moving into our next layer we have layer number seven for layer seven to go ahead and get started with here we're going to go ahead and begin with by placing down a anvil on top of this birchwood block right here and then coming off that we're going to place down a polished blackstone up sound stair we then want to place down a end rod coming off that uh stair and then we're going to go and then grab ourselves a chain and we're going to place down a chain coming off like that for our machine gun at this point in time to the right side here of the stair we're going to place down an iron frame in the iron frame we want to go and grab a black bed and we're going to place down a black bed like so we'll also want to go ahead and grab dark oak signs and we're going to place down a dark oak sign on the side of the stair like that if you're on java on the other side we're going to just place down a sandstone wall like so on top of the stair itself we'll place down a redstone repeater and then go ahead and grab in our birchwood trap doors. We're going to place down two birchwood trap doors coming off uh, the side of frame here. And then coming off the sandstone wall like that for the front. Going back from this, we want to go ahead and then place down a sandstone up sound stair. To both sides of that anvil. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a smooth sandstone block. Going back on both sides. And then a narrow sandstone up sound stair. And then a narrow smooth, or sorry, and then a narrow sandstone stair there in the middle to make a row of three across the back. We're going to place down item frames on the side of the first two blocks like that and then we're going to go and then place down black stained glass panes in the iron frames like that to go ahead and make the little windows there for the gunner we then want to go ahead and grab a lantern and we're going to place down a lantern here on top of these two sandstone walls there for some caution lights or something like that usually when the crane's being operated we're going to go then place down a chain that goes up from the stone brick stair like so and then after that we're going to go back from that with a birchwood trap door and then we're going to take our sandstone top sides, place down one, two, three, four, five. On both sides of the fifth floor, we're going to place down a sandstone wall. Continuing on, we're going to place down an, an additional one, two, three, and four. So in total, this should be a row of nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sandstone top slabs in total. We're going to go and then take our smooth sandstone. We're going to place down a block here in the center. Sandstone up, sandstone stair to both sides. After that, uh, we want to go and then place down a skeleton skull. Coming off both sides of this top slab. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood stair. On both sides like that. After we have uh, that all done, uh, we're going to go to the back here. We're going to go take our smooth sandstone. We're going to place down one, two, three across the space here. We then want to place down three birchwood upstairs and stairs coming off those blocks. And then we're going to go and then place down a sandstone top slab to both sides like so. And that right there will basically complete what we have there for layer 7. Actually, one thing also to add is going to be a birchwood trapdoor on these two sandstone full blocks. Anyways, though, that right there is going to conclude what we have there for layer number 7. And with that, we're going to move into our final layers here, which will be layers 8 and 9. All right, guys, moving into our final layers here, we have layers 8 and 9. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with, if you were to place down an item or a trapdoor, that will be on top of this item frame here. So like so, and we're going to open it toward the front there and also on top of the sandstone wall and open that up toward the front as well. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame. We're going to place it down on the backs here of the of the trap doors and we're going to go ahead and place down a black stained glass pane in the item frame like that for the windows there for, again, the gunner. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a sandstone slab like this to both sides. A skeleton skull at a 45 degree angle here in the corners. And then just a uh, normal skeleton skull straight across there on the back. Then moving into our crane section, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a stripped uh, birchwood log on its side like this on top of the trap door. And then we're going to place down a sandstone up sound stair going forward from it. We're going to go ahead and then uh, go to both sides of this block. We're going to place down an item frame, then a smooth sandstone block in the item frame. And then again, if you're on Java, a birchwood sign on the side there of that block. And same thing over here, like so. After that, we're going to take our smooth sandstone, we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uh, blocks back. We're going to go ahead and place down a sandstone wall, and then a strip birchwood log like this to both sides. Once we have that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down an iron bar 
like that to both sides. And then going forward from it, uh, we want to go ahead and grab our virtual trapdoors. We're going to place down one and two in the sandstone wall. Then you're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six virtual trapdoors, and I'll close these to be flat against the side there. Same thing over here, one, two. Sandstone wall, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're just going to close that like all those trapdoors like so. After that, going ahead and continuing back, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on both sides of those blocks here. Then we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate, come off the blocks like that. Then a birchwood trapdoor there in the center. And then our lanterns are going to go on top of these stone sandstone top slabs of both sides. On top of these stripped birchwood blocks, we're going to place down a skeleton skull to both sides like so. And then we're going to go and take our chains. And we're going to run uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. Four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, and nine of these chains going forward. We're going to go ahead and then place down two birchwood trapdoors here in the center. And we're going to place down skeleton skulls on the sides of those trapdoors. Then on the very front here, we're going to go ahead and also place down a redstone repeater. Separate the notches apart from each other like so. And we also want to go ahead and grab some birchwood buttons. We're going to place down one and two virtual buttons back, skip a space, and another redstone appear with the notches separated. And then going all the way back to the last two blocks here, we're going to place down two virtual buttons on top of those two blocks. And the last thing for us to do here is now to go ahead and take our chain and do the same thing over here on this side, running all the way forward, and connect it up to these skeleton holes here up in the front. And with that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up uh, what we have here for this uh, tutorial, in, or for layers 6 and 7. And with that, that will conclude my tutorial here for the uh, mobile version of the Oshkosh MMRS. Anyways guys, hope you all enjoy this vehicle and are able to put it to good use. If you do not use this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This is me, thank you for the the build, tweak to my channel, or this video, if this does appreciate social media sites. As always, well, you guys give me proper credit for it, you're for using for projects you guys are working on. Again, keep an eye out for the deployed version, which will show you guys how to extend the crane out and um, have it rotated to face the back and also to extend the stabilized legs out. So you have a little bit more playability with it, you can have it doing some cool recovery scenes or something like that. Um, basically whatever you want to do so that will be an option and that will be coming very soon um with that though thank you guys again so much for watching a big special thanks to patreon supporter derek frost westbrook for making this tutorial possible and as always feel free to check my patreon page link is always in my video descriptions with that though this has been gary 204 and i'll see you guys next time